Hi, my name is Danielle and I'm with APAC, which is Austin's Positive Action Coalition. And just to give you a little bit of background on APAC, we um, work together to reduce alcohol, tobacco, and other drug use amongst our peers by empowering and supporting each other to make healthy choices. So we have a student group here called STAN, which we've talked about before, called Students Taking a New Direction. And I get to connect today with Mr. Heskett, who's one of our STAN advisors. So welcome, Mr. Heskett. Tell Hi. me what you're doing here at the Austin High School. Um, I'm a special ed teacher here at Austin High School. Uh, I work with the ECD department. Um, I absolutely love it. Awesome. And we're going to get to learn a little bit more about Mr. Heskett today. So I want to know three truths and a lie. All right. I have three dogs. I speak fluent Spanish. I have a degree in health and PE, and I was a former homecoming king. Mmm, so I gotta figure out the lie in that one. Yeah. Is the lie the three dogs? Nope. You have three dogs. I have three dogs. Alright, so is the lie you speak fluent Spanish? That's the lie. That's the lie. Yep. So you are a dog person, and yes. I knew that. Yep. But I guess I just see a lot of fluff sometimes, so I just thought there was only right. four dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, three's enough. <laughs> three's enough. Okay, I want to have a little bit more fun with you. Okay. And then I want to get into something else. Um, these are some would you rather. Would you rather lose your smartphone or your car keys? Car keys. All right. Would you rather read minds or predict the future? Predict the future. Would you rather have a purple nose or green ears? Oh, boy. <laughs> um, I like green ears. I'm Irish. Oh, okay. Not because you could potentially be a Packer fan. Well, we don't like the Packers around here. Green Bay Packers, that Between is. Between Mr. Heskin and I, we have this little beef about the Packers and the Vikings. Yeah. <laughs> and then, last one. Would you rather find a spider in your hair or a snake in your house? Why not a snake in the house? All right. You have a lot of fun with your students here. Yeah. And I know that probably every day you capture something that you want to, I guess, maybe... Um, bring back out to the students just to give them a message of hope something just kind of keep propelling them forward in their success that you help kind of nurture with them so what's something you want them to know um every day is a new day you know it's what i like to tell my uh, students and also my athletes is we're not looking for perfection on anything we're just looking for progress so at the end of the day if you feel like you have progressed in your academics um daily then that's great uh, that's all we're looking for, you know, and if you, at the end of the day, you look and at yourself and you see regression, that's fine. That's just more work you can do the next day. That's awesome, because I think sometimes everyone's just striving for perfection all the time, yes. but sometimes some of those moments that you say, like the regression, is just an opportunity to step back, reassess, and move forward again. And like with STAND, stand students taking a new direction, which is an extracurricular group in our school, What's something you would like to motivate students about connecting with you to join that group? I think just, um, you know, I think the students should just uh, be more open to joining different groups. Yeah, step out of their comfort zone a little bit and, um, you know, broaden your horizons and just um, you never know. You hop in a group, you're going to meet some new friends and you may love it or you may dislike it, but you won't know until you try it. Exactly. So if any student out there would like to join students taking a new direction, please connect with Mr. Heskett and we'll get you signed up to join our meetings and be part of some of the fun activities that we're doing here. So thank you very much. for Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So if you have someone in mind at the Austin High School that you would like to have us interview, please connect with Mr. Heskett and myself. We would certainly like to get their messages of hope out there to you. Thanks. <laughs>